I'm going to cover what to do if the apps are not working on your Samsung TV. So that is they're not opening or they crash when they open or you just get a loading circle that goes on forever. So first of all, if you've not tried cold booting your TV, then do that first. So if you leave your TV switched on all the time, then you need to cold boot it. So with your TV switched on, pull the plug out of the wall socket and then wait for 15 seconds or so and then plug it back in and switch it back on again. So that will help clear out anything that gets stuck in the flash memory. So Samsung TVs often store some startup files in the in the flash memory and as long as your TV is plugged into the wall socket then it keeps this powered up and it could be that there's a software glitch or some programming error in there that's causing your apps to crash. If you've still got a problem with your apps not loading or crashing, then open your settings menu and go to support and then device care. Once that's loaded, you can go into the manage storage option and you can then see all of the individual apps. If you've got problems with just one or two apps, so just with YouTube, for example, then find that app in the list Open it up by clicking view details and then first of all try clearing the cache. You can then restart your TV and see if the app now works. If it's still not working then go back into the device care and manage storage and choose clear data. So this will delete any of your logins or any of your personalizations within the app so you'll have to re-log in again. But if you then try switching your TV off and on again, hopefully that will fix the issue. If it doesn't, then you can select the app from within Manage Storage and then choose Delete to remove the app from your TV and then reinstall it again. If after reinstalling the app it's still not loading or it's crashing, then you might want to try resetting your Smart Hub. So back in the main device care menu, go to self-diagnosis and then choose reset smart hub. As a final step, you can also try a factory reset of your TV, which is in the general menu and then reset.